Hey, uh, today we're going to be talking about motivation. So why don't we have motivation and what we can do to get it? So my name is Alyssa Cohen and I am a functional diagnostic health coach, which means that I help women who struggle with stubborn weight, acne, fatigue, and digestive issues, and I help them regain their energy, have clear skin, consistent moods, regular digestion, but ultimately I help women transform their, their health so that they can transform their lives. So have you ever had really good intentions of following through with a goal that you have, but a few weeks later you kind of fell off the bus and, and you're lacking motivation? Or maybe you start the week out fresh, but you find yourself by Wednesday you you are derailed and you just give up and you feel like you're going to start back on Monday and start fresh on Monday. Or maybe you know what you should be doing, you just can't seem to follow through with what you should, you feel like you should be doing. Or maybe you feel like your motivation sucks and ultimately that makes you just a really sucky person and you your energy plummets further into despair and you fall off the, the track again. Um, or maybe you're doing really great on eating the way that you intend to be eating, going and exercising or whatever your goal is, but um, then something happens. You're, you get a really sucky phone call, your boss yells at you, you get laid off of work, your kid gets sick and you have to um, you know, take care of all that, and this derails you. It sends you into a downward spiral away from your goals and you can't seem to get out on track and you just say, well, this goal isn't meant for me. Sound familiar? Um, I know that I've been there, and I know that most of us have been there at one point in our lives relative to a certain one goal, at least. And so it can be really difficult to stick with goals, but there's some strategies that you can use to help you stay on track when you feel like you're losing focus. So one of these things is what I call finding your big MOFA, which means finding your big motivating factor. Why do you want this goal? And ultimately why we want the goal, what we need to find is the why behind the why, the why beneath the why. So maybe your goal is to lose 10 pounds. You want to lose 10 pounds so that when you go on vacation three months from now, you look really great in your bikini and you feel you feel good and so you're going to lose 10 pounds, which is a really great goal, but sometimes that doesn't do a lot for us when we're at our friend's birthday party and there's chocolate cake and ice cream there and we somehow lose our motivation and that bikini goal doesn't seem like such a big deal anymore. So ultimately, your motivating factor is usually more of a feeling, not a thing. So what is it that achieving that goal is going to help you feel? Because after all, we act on emotions and not information. So we could know all the things that we need to be doing and all the best information out there, but if we don't have that feeling of why we really want that thing, then that information is not really going to help us. So how do we get connected with that emotion? How do we figure out what is our big motivating factor? How do we figure out what our why behind our why is? The way you can do this at home is by asking yourself, one question over and over. So this question is either what will having this do for me or what's important about having that. So in the the weight loss example, so you're looking to lose 10 pounds. What will having that do for you? Well, if I lose 10 pounds, I can feel really great in my bikini when I go on vacation. What will having that do for you? Well, when I look really great in my bikini, my husband's going to pay attention to me and he's going to comment and say that I look really great and give me that attention. What will having that do for you? Well, when my husband gives me that attention, I'm going to feel loved. And you see how that feeling of feeling loved is a lot more motivating than I just want to look good in a bikini. So we may have to ask that question up to five times, or more, maybe, to really get down to that deep emotion of why do we want this, why do we want to achieve this goal. And usually that emotion is related to one of four basic human needs. So the feeling, the, the need to feel love, the need to belong, the need for safety, or the desire to feel happiness or joy. So if we can get it down to one of those five emotions, 
and really feel what that feels like when we're going to get that, when we're going to feel that emotion because we achieved that goal and replay that emotion in our heads and feel that emotion in our bodies, then the goal is important. Then we can have an easier time following through. Okay, so now that we figured out your big mofa, how do you remember that emotion when you get the sucky phone call and you down a half pint of ice cream? Which I've definitely done before. <laughs> so we do something called anchoring. So we find things that are in our environment that we see on a daily basis and we try and connect that emotion to that thing in our environment. So um, it might be something like a screensaver on our on our computer, the background on our phone, maybe we put a motiv motivating quote or something like that, or finding a picture of yourself when you did feel like your husband loved you or you feel you felt good in your bikini or whatever. Um, or maybe it's a piece of jewelry that means a lot to you or your husband gave to you or whatever. Or maybe it's um, a song that makes you feel really motivated and excited and then really increases your energy. So we pick something in our environment and we connect that feeling of whatever that our, our big mofa, the feeling of our big mofa, we connect it to that item. So, and we use that anchor, we use that item in our environment in one of two ways. So we either use it as a pattern interrupt. So when, um, when you get that phone call and you're tempted to eat that ice cream to help deal with the stress, you look at that item, play that song, look at your screensaver and decide to make a different choice to keep you on track. Or if, um, if you have made a choice that doesn't align with your goals, you look at that item and it helps remember, remind you to come back to those, those good healthy habits that you have in place already and brings you back to, grounds you back to that, that goal. And then the third thing that we need to remember when it comes to motivation and achieving goals and things like that is that we're all human and we screw up. And we, as humans, have the ability to make choices. And sometimes our choices don't always align with our goals. And that's okay. We need to remember not to beat ourselves up about it. Because then it just brings us further into that those negative emotions and demotivation. And it sucks. So instead of being hard on yourself and giving up or figuring that this goal just isn't for you... Going back to your anchor, finding that emotion of your big mofa again, and recommitting yourself. Because part of the journey of achieving goals and, you know, life in general is taking imperfect action. And sometimes we, we, we might want to quit, and that's okay, as long as, it's only, as long as it's only for a second and we bring ourselves back to the energy of that goal and why we want to achieve that goal. So, my questions for you are multiple. Um, what is the goal that you're trying to achieve that you're having difficulty motivating yourself for? That's one. What's your big mofa? Ask yourself that question. Ask yourself, what does having this do for me? And let's find your big mofa, find that, that emotion. And then number three, what's, what's your anchor? What's the anchor in your environment that you're going to attach that emotion to that's going to bring you back to that emotion every time? So um, I would love if you would comment below and answer those questions and let's motivate each other. Sometimes support and accountability is useful too in achieving our goals. So happy Sunday and we'll see you next week. Bye guys.